guys, my name is Lenny. Welcome to me. It's been two days since we've seen each other, at least on this platform. And even though it's been miserable and I've been going through withdrawal, somehow the world kept turning and going on, which is weird because everything revolves around us. You know what I'm talking about. This little thing I do is called Let's Not Talk Politics, where we talk about anything and everything that is not politics because, oh my God, it is everywhere. Let's take a break. So you can subscribe and turn on notifications, and if you're feeling extra frisky, use your big beautiful brain and leave me a comment. Today I have great news. Scientists have said the five second rule for food, dropping on the ground, is an actual thing. You know when things are actual things, but you can't explain that they're things, but you know that they're things? Science says, you there, it's a thing. Like I am a reasonably intelligent person, I can comprehend a lot of things. But I don't science, but I respect science, even though science and I, we're just not compatible, um, but it's not personal, and it's not science, and it's definitely not me. You know what I mean, though. Also, I kind of thought the five second rule was a three second rule, like one, two, three, oh, it's still good. But five seconds is okay, I'm comfortable with that. But I'm assuming that everybody is exactly like me and you all have Greek parents too, so that when you were a kid and something dropped on the floor, like in your house, not in public, they would be, you'd be like, oh my God, and they'd be like, just, it's fine, eat it. You remember that part of our childhood, which we all had all together in the same house? But essentially the five second rule is when something drops on the ground, you can count to five and it's still good to eat. Scientists are actually saying that if it is a dry piece of food, like a cookie or what else? I don't know, like a piece of bread or something. Whoa, I went blank. But one of those type of things, it can be on the floor for up to 30 minutes and it'll still be okay. Now, I don't know if you don't, like, if you have kids, that makes sense to me. If you don't have kids, I'm wondering how that would occur. Like, you're sitting on the couch it's an exciting Friday night where you're planning on sitting on the couch. You know, sexy times. And you're having a cookie and the cookie drops. And you're like, you know what, instead of watching the TV, I'm gonna watch that cookie for 30 minutes. I'm not trying to judge what you do with your Friday nights. I'm just saying like in what universe would it be 30 minutes? And if you dropped it, but you didn't know you dropped it, how do you know it's been 30 minutes? Like who is timing this, I guess? is my question. But that kind of makes sense to me because if you think about it, it's just a, it's dry. It's not gonna really absorb anything, but any longer and maybe it'll start to collect dust and all that other stuff that we bring in every single day that we'd really rather not think about. But if it's a piece of bread, like say with butter on it or something with like sauce on it, they say the five second rule applies. And I don't mean to disagree with our friend science, but I'm gonna have to disagree with our friend science because even if you were super fast and the second that that piece of toast dropped butter down on your carpet and it was like one second, that is enough for whatever is on your carpet to be immediately on that piece of butter or on that butter spread. On the butter, guys, come on. Because no matter how clean you are, you're gonna pick that sucker up and there's gonna be a hair there. And then you'd kind of be like, or at least that's what I would be doing. But there you go. Anytime someone argues with you, oh, hi, the five second rule does apply because science. Argue with science. I can't. Can you? Did you guys grow up with that little five second, three second rule? Did your parents keep food away from you if it dropped on the floor? Thank you very much always for watching. Please take care of yourself so you can take care of each other and I will see you very soon.